Did you know the first french fries weren't actually cooked in France? No, they were cooked in Greece. Alright, let's go over some quick classroom rules and procedures. I know most teachers like to go over this the first week of class, but I like to wait a little bit, let, uh, let myself and let you guys get to know how everything's going to work in the class, and then kind of go over some of the more important things to me. So when you come into class, it's really important to arrive on time. When you arrive, make sure you go back to the room, put your phones in those phone pockets, log into computer, and check Canvas to see what we're going to be doing today. Everything that we do is always going to be posted to Canvas. You should also prepare for me to take over your computers for the first I don't know, five to ten minutes of class. I try to give you as much time as possible to work, um, but I do want to make sure that everybody's on the same page and everybody knows what they're doing. So uh, be prepared for that. Oh, speaking of this, arriving to class on time, I usually do take over computers and start right away as soon as the bell rings. So if you walk in late, you're probably going to have missed some of the, like, what we're doing today. Um, part so that's a that would be a good opportunity to talk to one of your partners sitting around you and ask them hey what did I miss okay now during class I really have three big uh, rules or things that I'd like you to be doing uh, so number one I'd like you to be respectful and on task and by the way these rules are hanging somewhere in the somewhere in the room but I'd like you to be respectful and on task and to me what that means is when I'm talking you don't have any earbuds in your head is up you're paying attention you're ready to learn you're using the computer appropriately which means not using YouTube you know you're not on Twitch you're not on Reddit you're not on Instagram or Snapchat you're not playing any games on the computer you're using them for whatever we're doing in class um, whenever I'm talking you need to be quiet so that everybody else can hear me, even if you already know what I'm going to say. Um, other people might not, so it's really important for you to be quiet while I'm talking. Um, when I'm not talking, you guys can absolutely be talking to one another, but make sure your conversations are geared a little bit more towards what we're doing in class, maybe the subject. Um, and finally, uh, try not to have any sound coming from your phones or computers. So when you come into the room and you put your phones on the back, uh, make sure that you silence them. I am totally okay with you listening to music while you're working on projects, um, but you're gonna have to be, you're gonna have to use your computers for those um, things and not YouTube for the music. So you can use Spotify, you can use uh, Google Music. There's like a hundred different you know, Pandora, there's a hundred different music things that you can use um, to listen to music. Um, it can't be YouTube though, and it can't be your phone. All right, I'd also like people to be helping others in this class. So that means working together to help understand the content. So if you have a question, rather than raising your hand and asking me immediately, talk to the people sitting around you. If you see somebody in your group doing good work, make sure to recognize them. And if you guys are working in groups and somebody uh, does a really good job and helps you out, um, make sure to say thank you to them. Um, you know, don't make anyone feel stupid. If you notice someone that you are working with has made a mistake, respectfully correct them. Um, do your you know, do your best not to make anybody feel bad about not knowing the answer to something. Um, if you have a, if a student has a question, make sure that you try to answer that. Um, when we're doing student presentations, you know, clap for one another. And, you know, like I said before, when I'm talking, you guys need to be quiet. So if you could help police that, the class will actually go a lot smoother because if I notice people are talking, I'm just not gonna say anything. So I'll wait for everybody to to be quiet so the faster everyone in the room can be quiet the more time you will have to work and then finally this class is going to require a little bit of extra effort so um, you're definitely going to have to improve the quality of your work uh, over iterations of the work which means you're going to probably do some type of project um, it's not going to be quite right and you're going to have to go back and improve uh, what you've done on that project and it's important to be okay with that you know the first time around things aren't going to be perfect and so you need to be good with 
like redoing work. Um, if, if you are like wondering about something like, I don't quite understand this, or um, you have a question about something, obviously I'm always here to help, but you have the wide, wide world of the internet and the, the further we get into the semester, the more and more on your own you're going to be, which means you're going to be having to research your own materials and kind of learn how to learn things on your own. And this is kind of going along with that. Um, if I need papers passed out, if you know you could volunteer to, hey, Mr. Reichel, let me help you do that, uh, that'll actually make class go much smoother um, and much more quickly because I won't have to be wasting your time and mine passing out papers, I can just get to the specific points that I need to, and then we'll all be good. Um, and then, obviously, uh, extending discussion, enriching it when we do do class discussions, make sure that you actually participate and contribute to those discussions. Finally, oh, um, I think I missed this one. Um, but during class, um, because we're in a computer lab, you are not allowed to eat in the class. If you want to drink water, you can have a water bottle, that's totally fine, um, but do not have any types of food out by the computers, so no food allowed in class in my room. You can have water, water is fine, um, and if you have like diabetes or some type of medical condition where you have to eat, then that's totally fine too, but otherwise no one should be eating in class. All right, to end up, uh, at the very end of class, I'll usually remind you when we have about three to five minutes left in class, you want to grab your phones and return to your seat. I really, really, really don't like it when students line up at the door, so um, you need to grab your phone and then return and stay seated until the bell rings. Um, please don't line up at the door. Don't just, like, stand up and hang out by the door. Um, I want you guys sitting down, relaxing, enjoying life until that bell rings. So, okay, hopefully this kind of clears things up. It shouldn't be too many rules or too bad, but that's kind of what I expect out of you. And I will try to do my best to be the best teacher for you. So it's a two-way road. All right, uh, talk to you later. Let me know if you have questions.